Hey collectors, Anthony from Hashers Night here, and today we're going to t look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Rotocast Retro Villains 2021 set, which I have right here. Now, this bad boy, as I show you, this is a big box. Um, it basically mimics the look of the the drill that you would see in the video game, or technically the arcade game, and the animated series from the late 80s. And inside of it is six villains, six action figures from the Playmates toy line that are reissued in the four and three quarter scale, which if you have the original figures scale perfectly. So we're going to take a look at what's inside the box. And one figure that I'm particularly excited about because I have no versions of him whatsoever. That makes me so happy to get this. So uh, stick around. Now let's uh, start taking a look at individual characters. Now, as I mentioned, there are six in the box and the back of the box is exactly the same for all of them. And it tells you the story of the Ninja Turtles generally, which was on the back of the original figures uh, from 88. And then of course, these are reissues of the 88 figures, slightly different paint jobs, but otherwise look totally legit as far as scaling and whatnot. And you can see the figures of Bebop, Rocksteady, Krang, Baxter, Stockman in his fly form a foot soldier and slash now flipping this over we reveal this is Baxter Stockman and I happen to have with me my original Baxter and you can see clearly there's some coloring differences uh, first uh, the color on, on this Baxter on the old one is uh, the purple is a lot more subdued also the painting is different here in the chest area and the I don't know, maybe it's age, but the blue on the mouth of the new one is a little bit brighter. Otherwise, they look generally the same. Now, um, Baxter comes with like a fly swatter, which is ironic, being a fly, and a couple other instruments. Now, I again have the original of him, and you're going to notice right away there are a couple of paint differences. So, first off, uh, the, the teeth, uh, the back teeth here on this guy is not painted like the back tooth on here uh same on the other side of course uh down here the belt's not painted on the new one and neither are the wrist uh cufflets i guess or whatever you want to call them uh they're not painted um and, and, and to show you before you ask all the backs are exactly the same so i'm not going to show you backs anymore of uh, the boxes but uh you you see that the figures are also generally about the same size um i'm never going to open this guy so I, I have no idea if it's a uh, one-to-one -one scale here but uh they look the same size. I can't imagine them not being the same size. I feel like the same mold was used. Um, another thing I would like to point out before I forget is the snout is a different color. It's actually a white to a pink kind of gradient. So uh, that, that that's a, the only other difference I think I've seen on here. Um, I also like to point out in the box, it's kind of a classic look at the original art. It's a little bit different. I believe the uh, original back box back here actually had like a, an, a kind of an outwardly explosion thing that was a little larger uh, maybe with a stone um, arch or something um, is it's been like 35 years I can't remember exactly but I feel like the box they've kind of dumbed it down a little bit for design sake up next we have Rocksteady and uh, here is his original counterpart and you can now I do have his belt it's not missing or anything it's just it's put away uh, but you can see looking at him, there's a couple of tweaks, uh, particularly his um, wrists aren't painted on the new figure. And uh, the colors on his horns are a little bit more subtle on the new figure. Other than that, it looks generally the same. And uh, again, I already have one, don't need another one. But I mean, all in all, it's, it's just like Bebop and Baxter, a good looking Rocksteady. Now, this guy is for uh, troop building, assuming that you can find more than one in the, uh, you know, so I can't imagine there's somebody on eBay, like, selling, you know, th uh, multiples of this guy on his own. But if there is, I mean, build a troop out of them. But here is my classic figure. Now, uh, looking at him, uh, my classic figure, his leg is broken. It's actually glued on with super glue. 
Uh, the original, if you look at it, the, the purple is more of a prune color, where this one's a little bit darker. But then that could be due to age, because everything else does look color correct. Um, of course, mine has a little bit of a skin knee because he's you know, old. But um, I wanted a functional foot soldier. Plus, again, troop building, so it's nice to have extras. Uh, the one thing that bothers me is the way their feet work. And I don't know why I glued him in this this pose that doesn't stand up. It's very weird. But uh, hopefully this guy's feet have been fixed. Because I, despite being flat, they don't stand up really well. And uh, I, I'm just not going to get him to stand up. But that was my real only complaint about this particular figure. is just how lanky he is. This is about as bad as Shredder, which is probably the worst one for trying to get to stand up. Because this is weird, like, squat set thing. I don't know. Anyway. Next up is Krang. Now, uh, I have a Krang. He's right here. This is Krang in his android body. Uh, funny thing is the Krang is actually super tiny. But also keep in mind that the... Android body was built to scale, so if I show you, here's Rocksteady, uh, the scale is there, but we all know from the cartoon that the Android body is actually supposed to be quite large, but it's not because they wanted to keep the $4 price point, which you were in 1988, and uh, so happy to have this Krang, uh, so this full-size Krang figure is in his walker, and you have these attachments you can apply to him, which is fantastic. So it's nice to finally have that, and um, I, I don't. I swore I saw it in store once and didn't get it, and I kicked myself. But to finally have it is awesome. Finally, and I have nothing to go with him. I don't have Slash. Uh, Slash was on my list of the top five uh, figures that I must get, including Rat King, General Treg, Mona Lisa, and Venus de Milo. Now Slash is finally off my list. That bumps Rat King up one and everybody else. Rat King's now number one again. Um, yes, I, I love this guy. I had a friend who had him and I was like, oh man, I wish I could find him. Could not find him for the life of me. The fact that he has basically like Shredder's arm claws and then he has like mutated forms of the turtle's weapons. I guess you could say like this is supposed to be a side. This is supposed to be a sword and bow staff and a nunchuck maybe. I don't know. Uh, it's just... The concept of this guy can take out all four turtles, and he's the turtle size. And he's basically an evil version of them. That that was really fantastic. It's basically, it, it, talking Transformers, he's basically the nemesis prime of Ninja Turtles. So you're telling me there are no shields? Ah, uh, like no man. Well, what does it have? Like a groovy flux capacitor, and it can travel anywhere through time and space. Does it come in black? So now we have everybody set out. Uh, the three I'm planning to keep anyway. And uh, we can take a little bit of a closer look at them. And... Uh, ew, he has that same leg movement uh, that the other one had when, you know, when it worked. <laughs> uh, but uh, if we can go grab the other one, we can take a closer look. Uh, clearly... A color difference but perhaps due to fading over time uh, but uh, you know what maybe not because this darker blue is a lighter blue here the pants color looks maybe about the same but uh, clearly they cheapened up on the foot logo because this one actually had toes on it when it was existing uh, this one didn't even bother So let's see if the new guy can actually stand up. I mean, because his legs look weird. Like, if you look at the, you know. Because I think they're supposed to. Oh, wow, he actually stands up. Okay. So I glued his legs the wrong way on this guy. That's fine. We learned a lesson. Anyway, he comes with this thing, which I guess you beat people with. Uh, it comes with this claw thing, which it goes over his shoulder. And of course, this thing, they can go in their hands, too. It's not a big deal. Uh, a knife, because all kids love knives. And then, of course, this rack thing, which they have nothing that plugs into it. But, hey, whatever. It's what the weapons were connected to when I first got them. Uh, moving on to uh, 
to slash here. I just, I really love this. I, uh, it's so good. Uh, I think this holds this back here, maybe. Or maybe this is meant for the side. Let's find out. Oh, definitely meant for the side. Uh huh. That's all he has belt room for? Wow, it's whatever. Uh, he got a club here, which I. It's like, this is an evil bow staff? Okay, so it's spiky bow staff. And this is a club, so I guess it's his equation of a sword here. This is his version of the nunchuck? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, look at that guy. He looks nuts. Let's, uh, let's see, compare him to, like, Rocksteady over here. But, uh, yeah, God, I am so happy I finally have one of him. Uh, hopefully he stands up. Oh, yeah, really easy. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, the, the five points of articulation, I'm so happy about that. It's the character, not the uh, features. And then finally, because as you may remember, I have the body. The, uh, the Krang himself, he is not soft at all. Uh, I was asked to check. He is not. Uh, he has a hole in the bottom. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, but is his tend tendrils move or tentacles, whatever? Uh, so that's pretty neat. And then um, you can stick him in here. Wow, this is super loose. Uh, you stick him in here. There's like nothing to clip him in, but uh, you know the top will keep him in here. And uh, it's pretty cool. And then the walker does stand up. And then uh, I'm gonna pull this out for a sec so I can do this. Uh, these arms connect to these ports here. Which I think was in the cartoon, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. And uh, he had a little attachments uh, that uh, allowed him to do things. Uh... Oh, okay. Sure. That looks menacing. Let's put Krang back in. Uh, that's pretty cool. It's nice to have a to scale. Like I feel like this is the correct scale for a Krang. Uh, the, the robot gives him the same height. The or the 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 walker. I mean, it sure beats the tiny little Krang that is hiding in here because it needed to keep this guy in scale. Just as ugly though. Actually, it almost looks like they upscaled. Oh, now I'm kind of curious. Uh, I mean, he could be. I, I, I don't know. Could, 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 his baby? <laughs> Oomtroms, who knew? Okay, so I'm going to put him back in here where he's been for the last 30 years. He can, actually, no, I got this 10th anniversary version, like uh, my metalhead, so <laughs> like 20, 20 years maybe. Now, that was my look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Rotocast Retro Villains 2021 set. And, um,. If not for the fact that I needed three of the guys out of this set, um, I probably wouldn't have gotten out. I would have definitely, if I'd known somebody, I would have split with them for the three I needed. Because uh, $100 for basically three figures and three of them, um, you know, would don't need is, yeah. But if you if you really want to get these second set of classic figures, definitely worth it otherwise. Because it comes up to about $15-ish a figure. And um, it's just... Uh, I love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the 80s uh, or in early 90s. And to finally collect two figures I never had in the right scale. And plus to replace or slash, slash troop build one of them is just, it's fantastic. Right now, if you can find it, it retails around 100 I think, as, as I mentioned before. Uh, some places are, are basically scalping it. Uh, I've seen it for as much as 200 And that's United States dollars, by the way. So, um, good luck hunting for it if you want it. Let me know in the comments what your favorite Playmates or Turtle was. Of course, mine was Raphael, uh, as you see from wearing red here. But uh, I love those figures. I still have all of my original Ninja Turtle figures. And uh, thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.